Okay guys, it's Zach Trainspotter HD and uh, welcome back to a, another video, a, uh, my 11th talking video of the channel and uh, there is a few things I want to talk about in this video, a few important things, uh, one will be about the coronavirus and um, the other thing will be about um, what's going to be happening on my channel over the next um, couple of weeks or days ahead. Um, so uh, the first thing I want to talk about is the coronavirus guys, our battle against the virus. Um, a few th positive, positive things have come out of this. Now we finally got some good news about this, is that there's two promising vaccinations that have been proved to be effective. Um, one in the USA is apparently 95% effective and the one here in the UK is about 94.5% um, effective so that's promising and apparently the um, the rollout of the uh, vaccinations for the one in the UK will apparently start at the start of December so um, if that happens then um, yeah, that, that could help out tremendously. Obviously, it will take time for the vaccinations. If it goes according to plan, of course, it will take time for it to be rolled out uh, to the whole of the UK. Um, we have ordered about 5 million doses um, of the other vaccination that is being made in, in the USA. Um, the one in the UK, the Oxford and AstraZeneca one, apparently that's effective as well um, in older adults. So that will help um, our course going into uh, Christmas and into the uh, new year. Because as you know guys, this year has been absolutely, can we say absolutely bad. It's just, it's been one crazy year for sure. And, um, you know, it's just, yeah, it's been a, it's been a crazy year guys. And, um, you know, to think with everything that has happened this year, um, like the Australian bushfire, bushfires at the start of the year, and then the pandemic hit, um, everywhere around the world at the start of March, and then other, other little minor incidents in between like uh, we had a few derailments of trains uh, that fatal one in scotland and a few other train derailments and that is that a coincidence that that's happened this year who knows i think it just sums up this year really that with everything that has happened really so um yeah but i thought i'd let you know on the vaccination news guys and one other thing I need to tell you all about, um, obviously we know that, uh, well we all know that we're in lockdown still in England. Um, and we are coming out of it on December the 2nd and we're going back to the tiered system, um, a more stricter one. Um, I suppose it's needed to be done a more stricter one, you know, just to be on the safe side, you know. Um, but we have, you know, the the second wave was obviously inevitable, but in the end, in the end, this second wave hasn't been so deadly as we thought it might be, or thought it might have been. So, um, we managed to get the R rate down. The, the R rate in England now is between 1 and 1.1. 1 .1. Um, when lockdown was introduced near the start of November, it was at, um, I think it was at around 1.2 to 1.4, maybe a bit higher than that, I think. So it goes to prove a lockdown does work. Um, you know, when Boris introduced the national lockdown at the start of uh, November, none of us wanted it. Boris didn't want to do it either, but he had no choice in the end because that was the only way to keep the cases down, the deaths down, and uh, everything else down, basically. So, uh, yeah, there we go, guys, on that. Um, Going on to the other thing I want to talk about, guys, is about my channel and what videos is, is going to come 
in the next uh, couple of days and weeks ahead. Uh, well, it all depends on this lockdown. Uh, we're going into the third week of lockdown now, and um, you know there is a few stations I want to get to locally. Um, I know I've been getting a little bit of um, understandable hate, shall we say, um, about me filming at Exeter St David's every time. And I do get that, guys. Um, I don't want to be filming at Exeter St David's every time. But at this precise moment, i got no choice. So, um, you know, I, d I didn't want to go through the whole no November not producing something. I wanted to produce something, and unfortunately, St David's was the only place where I can really go and record. Um, I can't really go and record on the, on the stations. I mean, I have been thinking about going to smaller stations perhaps next week and make a a little video there, perhaps at St James's Park or Exeter Central or St Thomas, stations like those where they're not so big. Um, maybe I can get away with doing a video there. Um, but yeah, understandable um, understandable hate on why I've been filming at St David's every time um, recently. I understand that guys and I appreciate all the support and feedback that I do get from all of you. That really motivates me to, you know, do more videos. Makes most motivates me to go and want to do more videos elsewhere. So um, yeah. So uh, basically, then guys, um, I will be making more videos once lockdown ends. That's that's obvious. <laughs> um, I will be going to different stations locally. I will be going. However, I will be thinking about doing a long distance trip. Um, once lockdown ends, of course. Obviously, I can't do it at the moment. But once uh, lockdown ends, I will be thinking about doing a uh, long distance trip. So, um, yeah, a few good videos to come, guys. Um, also, I've been getting a, a little bit of hate as well on the length of my videos. Um, recently, I did an over an hour long video um, in Extra recently got a little bit of hate on that I did get a few dislikes but um the dislikes went away for some reason don't know what happened there but uh yeah um understandable as well like I said appreciate all the support you give me and all the feedback you give me and all appreciate all the tips you give me as well guys um I listen to your feedback and um I respond to your feedback and um I've decided that I'm gonna do my videos no longer than half an hour because um, I know most of you can't watch videos over half an hour I have to admit it is too long I will have to admit I just thought at the time doing a nice long hour video was probably a good idea but perhaps not so uh, that's uh, what I'm going to do now guys is just going to do um, a, a maximum half an hour long video so um, yeah, um, unless there's special, something special coming through on the station where I will be filming that, then I might have to make the video a bit more longer than half, hour, half an hour. But if not, I'll just do half an hour long videos. So uh, that will be the only length of videos you will now see on my, on my channel is no longer than half an hour. Um, the reason why I don't do smaller videos is because I don't seem to get the likes and the views on them, so that's why I'm, that's why I always do longer videos. So um, yeah, I mean my channel's always been about longer videos. Um, <clears throat> I know my Parenting video got a lot of positive feedback. I had forty likes on it and over one thousand views. That's just outrageous. I, I really appreciate appreciate that one, guys. Um, I really appreciate all the support you give me, like I said. So I can't thank you enough. So, um, yeah, that's basically what's going to be happening on my channel in the coming days and weeks ahead. Local videos. One long distance trip, if possible. Perhaps in the Christmas holidays, because they apparently thinking about relaxing the rules leading up to Christmas for five days. Perhaps I can go on a little cheeky... Uh, long distance trip that week perhaps um, but we have to wait and see what happens um, 
lockdown will end on December the 2nd. It just depends in what's going to happen after that. Um, I live in the southwest in Devon. Our infection rates have been relatively low for right, so I'm assuming down here I'll be fine. I can go back to making uh, train videos at stations soon, so be on the lookout for that, guys. Uh, like I said, long distance trip possible as well, if I can. I would love to go out on a long distance trip, guys. I haven't done a long distance trip for a while. Uh, I think the last long distance trip was when I went to um, when I went to Bristol and Swindon, and that was about a few weeks ago. So it was the last one I did. Um, I think that was in October sometime I did that. So, uh, yeah, so that's basically it then, guys, for this uh, talking video. I thought I'd have to keep you updated on what's going to be happening on my channel over the next coming days and weeks ahead. We all know it's been a tough year uh, this year, but we've got to be happy. We've got to be strong, and we'll get through this. Light is at the end of the tunnel. And normal life will return soon next year, guys. Just be strong, be happy, and we'll get through this together. So until next time, for me here, doing my 11th talking video in my bedroom, <laughs> I'll see you all soon, guys. Take care. Love you all.